beautiful creatures of the world and welcome back to Coffee with Kevry Lynn. We have an iced tea day here. We've been working in the great out back. We are under the meditation and wellness tent area with no meditation and wellness tent because it's just not time yet. It's warm enough to put it up, but we have some wild weather that comes through in the beginning of June every single year. And uh, I don't really put my meditation and wellness tent up until we're just about ready to set the garden, which will be running around June 15th. It's just how it works up here in the far north of Maine, up along the Canadian border in the crown of Maine. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. As you can see, it's a beautiful day here up on the Canadian border. I've been working on the expansion to my herb garden. We expanded the, uh, we're outside. <laughs> We don't have a controlled studio to begin with, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, we've expanded a portion of my herb garden, and that is so that we can grow additional uh, medicinal and culinary herbs to take care of us during what is to come. I know I wasn't on here yesterday. Breaking news, breaking news. Well, I was not breaking news. I have been off for a little while because I knew that um, yesterday was going to happen. I didn't know it was going to happen on yesterday, but I did know yesterday was going to happen with the breaking news. And um, I kind of took a little bit of time off of the, um, the world happening talky talk because I'm a small channel. You don't really need my voice in the mix. That's just the way it is. I, I am a person who would rather put out some sort of solution than to scream from the rafters, breaking news, breaking news, and everybody did that. So I didn't need to be there to do that. But I knew after uh, what happened yesterday, because I knew it was going to be guilty. And I knew it was going to be all of it, because that's just, um, that's just where my mind actually saw it. I knew after whenever the deliberation was over and the verdict was cast, I knew I was going to come back to uh, podcasting, podcasting. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, if you're joining me on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, YouTube Music, or Pandora, thank you for being with me today. I'm a variety show. I talk about anything that pops into my head, generally flies out my mouth, and we're both surprised by what I have to say. Uh, drop me in your playlist if you are on the audio only podcast circuit and I will show up when I post and if you want to listen to the show listen to it if not just kick me out and join me a different day if you're joining me on YouTube you know I've been putting up some shorts subscribe to my channel one like equals one FJB ladies and gentlemen beautiful creatures of the world thumbs up thumbs down doesn't matter any attention on YouTube is good attention Comment in the comment section below on my other videos. We have had amazing conversations in the comment section. I've been off the video podcasting thing for about three weeks now because while I knew yesterday was going to happen eventually and I'd have to get back to business, I have been working on building my fiber slash podcast studio. It's a fiber studio that I've wanted for 10 years. I've saved for it for seven years and... A year and a half ago, I started podcasting, so we're going to have a little podcast area in my fiber studio where I will be podcasting from. I will no longer be relegated to podcasting and running my small fiber business out of a small corner of my kitchen. I will actually have a studio to podcast from in a few short weeks. I'm very excited. It's a lifetime project of mine, and that is where my energy has been, and my energy has been on prepping the gardening areas and expanding the herb garden and we are going to be setting stuff in very very shortly and um, you know it's just the way it is it's the way of the world these days now everybody saw the news yesterday breaking news and while y'all were watching the breaking news I was doing something really cool I am making dandelion oil so that I can make dandelion salve. It's a great medicinal, and I know and the platform doesn't like me talking all about it, but we're gonna anyways. It's very simple. Uh, how I do it, there's two ways to do it. Very simple, both ways. 
you can just forage the heads of your dandelions, put them in your mason jar, fill it with your olive oil or oil of your choice, because some people don't like olive oil, whatever. I use olive oil because I don't want seed oil in my body. I don't want it on my skin. So um, I use extra virgin olive oil, organic. It doesn't matter what brand you use, as long as it's organic, as long as it's EVOO, extra virgin olive oil, EVOO. Fill your mason jar with your dandelion heads, the, the yellow part. Then cover them with olive oil. Put a coffee filter on the top and let it steep in the sunshine for two weeks and then I move it uh, for another week and a half to two weeks in a dark closet and um, then I make dandelion salve which we'll, we will be getting to. I make about four or five batches of this uh, a, a season and I make dandelion salve which is good for arthritis especially in your hands. It's good for inflammation. It's just all around a wonderful um, salve to, to take care of the aches and pains of your joints. And we use a lot of this around here because my guy not only has um, rheumatoid arthritis, but he also has chronic Lyme disease. So he's always hurting and always aching and we like to fix him up. He's by trade, he works with his hands and it just loosens his um, joints up quite a bit throughout the um, cold winter months and into the summer months. So this is what we do. And I knit, so I love having and spin, spinning wool. It's fantastic for, you know, keeping the moisture in your hands to do all that. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, we are going to talk about yesterday a little bit while you guys were all focused on what was going on in New York City. While you guys were all focused on the breaking news everywhere, um, a thing happened that not a lot of channels are talking about, but we're going to talk about it here. The thing is, while all that was going on in New York City and while the verdict was being read and everybody was gasping in horror, in disbelief, and we live in a banana republic and all the pundits were on and all the YouTube channels were on, the big ones, the little ones, they were all talking about it, breaking news. Well, we all knew it was going to happen because it had to happen. There was no other way that I could see it uh, trans transforming. Um, they have to do what they have to do because, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, the economy sucks and there really is a war going on overseas, whether you guys want to believe it or not. I mean, some people are just so removed from reality. There's been a lot of talk about drafting in our country. There's been a lot of... Uh, Look over here what this hand is doing because we're actually doing crap over here that you ain't going to like. So if we entertain you, bread and circus, you know, if we entertain you over here, you won't be looking at what we're really doing over there. So what happened was while we were all gasping in horror about what happened in New York City yesterday, um, the Biden administration secretly gave the green light for Ukraine to use long range missiles and fire them into Russia. And of course, Russia, um, there was, there was a, uh, a report that kind of leaked out of Russia that Russia is thinking about using some sort of nuke in June. So here we go. What the Trump thing did was the guilty verdict. It drove the hysteria and buried some pretty hard stories and nobody is really talking about them. There's a few survival groups talking about it. There is a few um, prepper channels talking about it. There is very few homesteading channels talking about all the secret stuff that happened while everybody was aghast at what happened in New York City yesterday. So if you want to get some good coverage on it, go see Canadian Prepper. He's He's got a good one out and um, full Full Spectrum Survival did a thing on um, the secrets that uh, the secret doings that happened yesterday while the verdict was being read and information was leaking out and nobody caught it. So there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, it is time. 
It is time for you to get your shit in order. There's no other way to go about this. There's no other way to say it. There's a lot of people that um, they just don't have their shit in order. They think that, you know, gardening is not going to be important. They think that um, food storage is not going to be important. Not the people on my channel because y'all are smart and you've been listening to me talk to you about the five can challenge. We'll ramp that up to 10 cans, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world. Some people are doing 15 to 20 extra cans a week. What's the five can challenge? Very simple. Go to the grocery store, put five extra cans of something that your family likes that they're going to eat in your cart. Forget the potato chips, forget the junk food, forget the cookies. Put five cans of something wholesome in your grocery cart. And put them in your pantry. Put them away for a rainy day, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world. We here on the homestead do not prep because of World War III. We prep because of natural disaster. We prep because we want to be able to get through any kind of hardship that comes our way on the homestead. We're self-employed. Work slows down and work is going, it's already started in our industry to slow down quite a bit. And, um, there are very few, uh, people that we know in our industry that haven't said, wow, this is going to be kind of a lean summer for the building projects because people just don't have the extra. They don't want to take that equity loan out on their home, which you should not be doing. Do not be borrowing money at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, you will regret it in the long run. Wait, I always say, if you don't have the cash, you can't have the thing. And I absolutely mean it. That was instilled to me from my grandparents. Don't take loans. I was the first generation, Gen X, we were the first generation that came out of high school and was offered credit cards. And a lot of people took it. And my grandparents were very, very uh, strict in drilling it into me that if you don't have the actual cash to pay for the thing you want, then you can't afford the thing that you want. And um, they were fortunate. They had the extra cash and uh, they could buy anything that they wanted. And when they did on the off chance, use a credit card they paid that credit card off the minute the bill came in because there was no such thing as zero percent interest rates everything had an interest rate so your first 30 days on the bill way back when was a freebie if you paid that entire balance off there was, there was no interest they had to make their own zero interest so when they bought something on a credit card the minute the bill came in they paid the entire bill in cash i know that is just amazing, isn't it? And they taught us just not to use credit, and I never really did use my credit. I was not one of the kids that came out of high school and got a credit card. My husband was. And we had to uh, we had to dig. We had to dig out, and we followed the Dave Ramsey th stuff, and we became debt-free. And then 2008 happened, and we really hustled to um, build a little nest egg and buy a small spit of land in the country um, for no money. And that is what we did. And that is, here we are. Many, many years later, here we are on the homestead, 16 years later, 14, just over 14 years of actual homesteading. But we've, we've owned our little uh, homestead for 16 years now. And we are, are grateful and we are very, very happy that we did the downsize thing and we do everything that we do is in cash or we just don't do it that's why it takes up took me seven years seven years to save up to build my studio it takes a long time but if you really want it you can achieve it um also ladies and gentlemen beautiful creatures of the world because of what happened yesterday in new york things are going to start heating up everywhere it doesn't matter what side like i said one thumbs up equals one FJB on this video. Ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna heat up on all sides. It is, unfortunately. Live your life, not in fear, but be very well aware of what is going on around you. Do not do anything that is going to attract trouble when you're outside of your home. Don't worry about what other people are doing. 
Y'all get to the store. Y'all get your needs met at the store. You buy what you need to buy and, and just... If things are going on, leave. Leave the basket in the aisle if you hear a disruption somewhere in a store. Um, don't, well, maybe somebody from the store will come and simmer it all down or security has been called. Leave the car and walk away. Ladies and gentlemen, but ladies, try not to go grocery shopping by yourself. I never go anywhere by myself. I have my husband with me at all times. We do everything together. Two is better than one. You know, it's just like when you're shopping. One is none and two is one. Well, two people out doing what you have to do as far as groceries, shopping, being out in public. Two of you are better than one of you. And um, it's just how we do it here. We're always aware of what is going on around us. And uh, because of yesterday, things are going to start heating up. And it doesn't matter what side you're on. It doesn't matter where you're at. Uh, we were not so affected by things. Um, the last time there was uh, shock and awe and fear and panic, 2020 to 2022, you know, when there was all that panic, we here up this far in Maine, we were not um, we were not as affected, but we were very shocked that family back home in southern New England they were like they they there's things that they couldn't do. They had to get uh, procedures done to get into restaurants and show cards. We were like, "What the heck are you people talking about?" So different parts of the country have different things that happen, and we were very. Um, normal up here and i'm sure even with the, the the wild verdict that came in uh yesterday that we're gonna remain fairly normal but there are so many parts of the country that are not going to be normal there is going to be um there are gonna be protests they're gonna be they're gonna be protesting something and um maybe not so much the conservative realm but uh you know we're going to have a summer of love 2.5. I'm done with the 2.0. We're on to 2.5. We're going to have a summer of love somewhere in the country. Just keep your head on a swivel. Try not to attract attention. And do your very best to go shopping with a buddy. Call a girlfriend. You know, call call your daughter-in-law. Call your mother-in-law. Call your mom. Hey, do you want to go shopping? If your, your man ain't available uh, to do things with you outside of your home and always 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 live with meaning ladies and gentlemen beautiful creatures of the world try to do things now that will enhance your future it's just the little things whether it's putting a tomato plant in a bucket on your back porch whether it's planting potatoes in a laundry basket which we're getting to i'm gonna go pick up my uh uh, see potatoes today which we're going to be getting to go to the dollar tree grab yourself a laundry basket you need a bag of soil i'm going to use store-bought soil they have um I'll, I'll i'll put it in the description they have one at walmart it's organic soil that i actually really do like so i'm going to use that just to prove to people that um you can you can do this in the city when you don't have access to your own uh, compost soil mixtures that you have on your property and we're gonna plant seed potatoes in a laundry basket this weekend so join me for that I'll probably end up posting that on Monday or so because I've got a hot date with my man um, tomorrow we're gonna be doing a thing we're gonna be out and about and doing a thing and socializing with some of our Amish friends tomorrow so I will not be uh, doing any videos this weekend no matter what news breaks i'm not a fear channel here so breaking news don't come here for breaking news come here for the solutions after the breaking news think about setting in a garden even if you have only a little two by four area in your yard that you can garden in my grandfather and my grandparents lived through their whole lives were depression into world war ii and my grandfather always planted rows of a row of tomato plants along the back fence where they lived and um in front of that he had uh 
basil and in front of that it was only a three row garden ladies and gentlemen beautiful creatures of the world he had some lettuce and we kind of got to make salads and stuff growing up with his uh green thumb so ladies and gentlemen beautiful creatures of the world thank you for joining me today and uh remember live life with meaning do for yourself today what you're going to need tomorrow we're expanding the herb garden because medicinals are going to be hard to come by especially when this shit overseas really starts to ramp up these are the times we live in they're very interesting times we're a part of history and when you're part of history everything you do every little bit of your life is actually helping to write history uh right meaning you know in the history books and one day all of this will be logged in and one day as we see the photographs from the dust bowl from the great depression and uh when we were growing up there was grandparents that uh, spoke of living history you're about to be the grandparents to speak about the living history for the next generation ladies and gentlemen beautiful creatures of the world thank you for joining me remember one thumbs up on this video equals one fjb Carpe diem, beautiful creatures, because no one promised you a tomorrow.